Seeing all these railroad tracks leaving Chicago's Union Station, we're reminded that Chicago is the main hub for trains heading west. It's also the starting and ending point for most Midwest trains. We're using Chicago as the jumping off point for going back east, specifically for going to Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. This isn't the best face of Chicago, but it's very real to see this side of the Windy City as its historical industrial core. Not much natural beauty here, but Chicago was built on smokestack industries and meat processing, not so much on Mother Nature. We're headed southeast out of the city, seeing plenty of these old brick factories some of them looking like they're from somewhere in the early 1900s. Could all these tractor trailers be hauling some product out of this old factory? Or is this a storage space for transportation stalled by the Great Recession? We saw the results of the recession as we rolled past this Chicago neighborhood seeing shuttered houses and empty lots where abandoned houses had been removed. Detroit is well known for this, but we see that Chicago has not been immune to it either. Even in the best of times, these were not the best houses, and these were not the best of times. These monstrosities are the large-scale public housing projects that produce some of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the country. They say that trains allow you to see the best and the worst of the country. Now, Chicago has some beautiful neighborhoods, but traveling in this direction, you don't see those beautiful ones. But some people make the best of it. Here we see garden plots worked up along the railroad tracks. Some kind of ways there. Like old firehouse. Mm -hmm. Our attention shifted from the outskirts of Chicago to our destination. In about 24 hours, we'd be in the nation's capital just in time for the cherry blossoms, as pictured on this cover of the Amtrak timetables. This is where two railroad tracks cross. If you look, you see the train in the distance waiting for our train to clear the crossing. 